Hello everyone. Good evening. So this is Ankush actually from Engine Markets. So I will be having the webinar session today. So I would like to warmly welcome everyone on behalf of Engine Markets as well. And today our topic will be revolving around. So starting with the comparing the different kind of clients existing portfolios. So it may be an existing client's portfolio as well as a non-existing client's portfolio. You can directly optimize them and you can create different kind of model portfolios as well. And after that, you can also have a full return analysis on the specific portfolios between different kind of the two portfolios that you will be onboarding over here. You can also check out the different kind of holding analysis and you can have a full drawdown comparison of that specific two portfolios. And lastly, you will be able to directly generate different kind of actionable proposals from the specific portfolios that you will be comparing in this platform as well. So I'll directly jump on to the platform as well. Just give me a moment. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. So first of all, I'll move on to the portfolio section where I've already created one of the uh, existing portfolio as well. Hello, uh, is it audible now properly? Yeah, it is clear. Okay, okay. sure, yeah. thank you. So first of all, uh, what we'll do is we'll just open a model test portfolio that we have created for this webinar session only. So we can directly click on this run option and you can have a full analysis of that specific portfolio. So when we look onto this portfolio, we can check out the components that we have chosen. So we have total seven funds over here and it is equally distributed among all of the other. And now what you can do, you can directly check out all the different kind of analysis through the performance of the contribution and the overlappings as well. But we'll move on to how you can directly improve a model portfolio that you will be creating for yourself. So whenever if you want to directly suggest to any client, you can directly just open the portfolio and you can click on this improve option as over here. So when you will be clicking over here, what you will be getting is actually you will be suggesting out with six different models, which will actually help you to understand how you can improve a specific client's portfolio as well. So when we'll open a portfolio analysis, you can directly have, you can check it out that the start date has been uh, started from 28 May 2013. So now if you want to decrease the time frame, you can directly change the start date from here directly. And you can choose for the last three years if you want to have answers for the last three years only. And now when we move on, you can directly click on the improve option once again. And you can check the analysis has been started from that specific date, that is 5th November 2020. So during that time frame, if you have a look on this, you can check out that the original portfolio that we had, it was generating around 30.93% of returns when the funds were equally allocated among all of the others. And over here, if you also check out with this specific allocation among all the funds, the volatility is around 13.54%. That is the standard deviation we take. And if you also check out the sharp ratio, this is a sharp ratio that this overall fund is having. This, sorry, this portfolio is having, that is 1.75. So sharp ratio, as we all know, the risk adjusted return that we provide over here. So you can have an analysis on that as well. And once if you move on to the models that we are suggesting. So first of all, you can check it out that we have suggested you two different models. One is the ranking models and one is the value models. So we'll come to them with one of the other, just a moment. So first of all, if you check out the original return that we were having is around 30.93 percentage. But if you see when the rank returns is showing it to you, so there is some kind of optimization has been done so that the portfolio can directly generate a return of around 35.75 percentage from the same funds that we had in this overall portfolio. So when we look into this, you can check out the all the funds were having an equal allocation over here so that it can generate a return of around 30.93 percentage for the last three years. But next, if you move on to the rank returns option, so in under this column, you can check it out. The allocation that has been done under this specific category is in this specific format under which the fund is having a higher return. It will allocate more into that specific fund. So first of all, if you see Nippon India small cap fund had a allocation of around 14.29 percentage. But now if you check out the rank returns option over here, the Nippon India small cap fund has been allocated with around 38.57 percentage. So why, why it has been done? Because the maximum returns has been generated by Nippon India small cap fund during that specific time. So what, how we can also have a look into this, you can just go back to the main page and you can directly choose the contribution tab. And from here, what you can do is you can choose the time frame of the last three years that we have chosen over here, that is 5th November 2020. And you can check out till today, what is the return or which fund has given you the maximum return as well. 
So what we can do is we can choose the last date of, from this date. And under this specific category, you can check out that Nippon India Small Cap Fund has given us the highest return among all the other funds. And followed by the Nippon India Multi Cap Fund, first of all, we are the Nippon India Small Cap Fund, then the Multi Cap Fund, followed by HDC Mid Cap, Flexi Cap, and different others. So now if you again move on to an open the improve option, we can have a full, again, have an analysis on them, like how it has been distributed among all the others. So I'll just open the improve option and I'll just give us a moment. Okay, uh, since we have opened this fund once again, so the date has been changed once again. So I'll just need it to uh, select the specific time frame once again. And we can improve this over here. Yeah. Okay, just give me a moment. I'll just refresh it. I think I am having some network issues. Okay, so we'll once again change the date for the last time as well. And we can directly click on improve option once again. So as we were checking out, first of all, so the highest allocation that was given was to the Nippon India Small Cap Fund. Since the contribution tab, if you check out the contribution tab, over there we can see that Nippon India Small Cap Fund has generated the highest return for during this specific time frame. And followed by that, the next one has been given to Nippon India Multi Cap Fund. Since this was the second highest fund that has given the maximum return in the overall portfolio. So in this manner, if you check out the different funds has been allocated in that specific manner, so that this overall portfolio can generate you a return of around 35.75 percentage overall. And with that thing, you can also check out that the volatility it was having before, the original volatility it was having, it was around 13.54 percentage, but the volatility has been also increased in this sector. And how, why it has been so? because it has been giving some kind of allocation to the funds that might have a higher standard deviation in comparison with the, all the others. So in that format, the volatility has been also increased in this section. And if you also move on to the next parameter that we have given over here, that is the sharp ratio. So on the basis of the risk adjusted return, so you can check out the rank return has been gone up by 0 0.24. Like this way also, you can have an analysis. So if the client is willing to get an aggressive portfolio from your side, so what you can directly do is you can directly click on this improve option and you can directly check and you can have analysis on them. The how you can improvise their portfolio so that you can suggest up with a better performing portfolio overall. So like this, first of all, we have the rank returns option where you can increase the return of the overall portfolio through this method of reallocation. We have not added or we haven't subtracted any kind of fund just by reallocating the different kind of funds that, the, that were already the components of this overall portfolio. Through that manner, we have generated an annual return of 35.75 percentage. Again, if you move on to the next parameter, that was uh, our minimum volatility option. So over here, our main motive is to get the minimized volatility from this overall portfolio. So that might impact the return as well as the sharp ratio also. But our main focus, if you check out that the volatility it was having before, that was around 13.54 percentage. But now the volatility has been shifted to around 12.64 percentage as well. And in that, case, the sharp ratio has been decreased to 1.59 percentage, sorry, 1.59. And how, how, how it has been done so, and that also it will be available over here. So you can check out the fund that were having the lowest volatility. On the basis of that, it has been now reallocated to that specific fund. So first of all, if you see over here, the Nippon India Small Cap Fund had the highest percentage of allocation during the rank returns column. But now if you can, if you see over here, 
that paraquatic plexica fund has been uh, given the highest allocation. And why is it so? Because this fund, if you go and if you have analysis on this specific fund, you can compare them and you, during this specific time frame, this fund had the lowest volatility among all the other funds. So in the same way, you can have analysis on them as well and you can check out the standard deviation of that specific fund for that time frame. And you can have a look that these are the funds that are having the lowest volatility among all the other funds. And if you see the fund that was given the highest allocation because it had the highest performance and it has generated a high return to the overall portfolio, but it has also impacted the volatility and it has increased the returns, the volatility option over here. But again, if you see the minimum volatility option over here, we are what the uh, uh, platform has done. It has directly allocated the lowest so that it can generate the lowest volatility to this overall portfolio. So in this manner also, you can check out that which fund should be given the highest allocation to generate a low volatility or to increase the high return as well. So again, if you want to check out the sharp, the rank sharp option. So over here again, our main motive is to generate the maximum sharp ratio out of this overall portfolio. So again, you can see that the allocation that has been given to these specific funds has been a quite, quite similar with the rank returns, but there are some kind of changes so that it can generate a high sharp ratio to the overall portfolio. So you might just see that Nippon India Small Cap Fund has been given the highest return allocation as well because it had the highest sharp ratio among all the others. But if you see again, the HDFC Flexica Fund, as during the returns column, it was having a 9.64 percentage, but in the sharp column, it is not having that specific percentage over here. So you can see that it has changed to 7.71 percentage of allocation so that it can directly impact the portfolio while decreasing the sharp and sorry, the volatility and the return as well to maintain a high sharp ratio over here. And over here, you can see that the percentage allocation are maximum minimum same over here. And you can have a look at them and you can save them as well over here. So from here, if you click on this button, so you get an option to save this specific portfolio under this name. So as we have selected this um, uh, portfolio's name as model test portfolio, so you can directly have a look on them and you can save this way as the optimized portfolio that you have created from here. So other than that, if you look into this section, so you can see that we have given two different models and one is the ranking model. So where we can directly check out how to maximize or optimize the returns or the minimum volatility or how to increase the maximum sharp ratio out of this portfolio. But if you also check out the value model, our motive is kind of same, but with a lower diversification or the lower concentration among all the funds. So first of all, if you check out that the funds were allocated in an equal manner, and over here in the next ranking models, our main motive was to get the maximum return or the minimum volatility. And due to that, the, the diversification in the allocation has been a lot over here. So first of all, from 14.29 percentage, you can see that it has been gone to 38.57 since our main motive was to generate the maximum return out of this portfolio. But if you also check the value model, it is a less concentrated model that we are suggesting as well. What you can do, you can directly have a look on them and how you can improve the portfolio without diversifying them in a higher allocation as well. So in that manner, you can check out what is the return value it is generating while this volatility has been increased very less in compared with the ranking models over here. And the sharp ratio has been also increased, but not as same as the ranking model that it was having. Since the risk was also less and the return is also less in comparison with that. And over here, if you check the allocation that has been done to this overall portfolio, it is very well diversified so that the client also don't have any kind of complaint from their side that if they are not willing to invest any specific uh, fund for up among approximately around 39% or 38 percentage. So what you can suggest with them is you can directly have this kind of allocation that will also help them to better their portfolio and they can also have a less diversification or less concentration in their allocation of funds as well. In this manner, you can check out the returns value. First of all, you can see all the different kind of allocation has been given in the same way, but it has been equally distributed among all the others so that the client also come, don't come up with any kind of complaint to yourself. Same way, you can also go ahead and you can check out the minimum volatility over here. You can see what is the percentage over here. So you can first of all check out that over here, with the, our main focus was to get the minimum volatility. So that is the reason it was given a high allocation to the Parak Parik Flexica fund. But over here, what our main motive is to not to highly concentrate the portfolio so that the portfolio has been equally distributed among all the others. So that is the reason that you can, if you see the volatility has been decreased from 13.54 percentage 
to 13.42 percentage. So there is a decrease in the volatility as well as there is not very high decrease in the returns as well. And you can check out what is the allocation that has been given to this specific portfolio. And lastly, again, if you check out the sharp value, in the same way, our main focus is to maximize the sharp ratio from here. And you can see the allocation, how it has been distributed among all the others so that they can generate a high sharp ratio from this specific value models. So now from here, if a client is willing to go ahead for an aggressive portfolio and they want to have an aggressive portfolio on their side, so what you can directly do, you can directly take the specific allocation of these funds that has been created or that has been directly optimized by the platform. What you can do is you can save this specific portfolio from your side. You can click on this option and you can create this specific portfolio from here. So now if you uh, can directly compare these two portfolios, like if this was an existing client's portfolio who was already investing in this specific portfolio and before that you have already suggested with some changes, but he hasn't done. So what you can do from here is you can compare the two portfolios directly under different parameters. So how you can directly onboard or you can directly show them what is the differences they are having. So first of all, we'll add the model portfolio that we were having on an equal distribution, first of all, on this side, on the right-hand side. So we can directly upload this on the right-hand side. And after that, what you can do is you can directly onboard the next portfolio that, the, that we have created, the optimized one. So this one is the optimized portfolio that we have created from our site. So we can onboard this one as well. So now when we are having an analysis on this specific portfolio, what we need to do is we need to specify the start date that we have chosen. So like we must have in the start date as 5th November. So we'll choose the specific time frame and we'll click on go so that we can have a better analysis on this specific portfolio as well. So now when we will have a look on this specific two portfolios. So over here, first of all, you can see that the green line is the model test portfolio that is the optimized portfolio. And the orange one that you are having, that is the model test portfolio that you were having or the, if the client was having before. So what is the difference between these two portfolios? You can have a look on them as well. So first of all, you can see there is a negative 4.82 percentage of difference between these two portfolios, where your optimized portfolio has generated a more of 4.82 percentage of returns, where the model portfolio that you were having previously, it had generated only a less of 30.93 percentage of average annual returns. So like this way, you can have a full analysis on them. So first of all, you can check out what is the MTD and YTD differences between them. And you can see what how they have been performing for the YTD. You can check out the yearly difference performance as well, like who has given you a better performance. Over here, you can see that the optimized portfolio has given you a cumulative return of around 1.02 percentage. Whereas your model portfolio that it was having before, it has only generated you approximately of uh, 125 percentage where there is a difference of approximately 25.89 percentage as well. And you can also check out that there is a higher chance of the volatility going ahead. Why? Because we have optimized the portfolio in that manner so that we can directly generate a high return since the portfolio of this that we have optimized is an aggressive model portfolio. Since you were generating a portfolio for your aggressive client, you can directly name this as an aggressive portfolio as well. And you can directly compare these two section from here. So now when you check out the sharp ratio difference as well, you can see that the optimize that we have created is having a better sharp ratio than what it was having previous. Followed by that, what you can go ahead, you can see from this chart format. And next we have the asset allocation. So in this asset allocation, when we move on, you can see what was the allocation it was having before. So over here, it was diversified under banks or finance or under different kind of IT or software. So after that it is done, you can check out the cap exposures as well. But in this section, if you see that it is uh, having a 34.18 under large cap and 38 point from under small cap. If you see in this specific portfolio, that is the model portfolio that you were having before. So it was having a exposure of large cap that is 47% and the small cap is having only 22.41%. So in this manner, you can check out that the portfolio has been a better diversified in different cap exposures. And you can also check out what is the diversification in different kind of equity sectors as well. Followed by that, what you can also check out is the different kind of exposures. So you can directly check out the, what are the exposures or what are the top exposures of the specific two portfolios. So if you are willing or if you are suggesting any kind of portfolio, 
that is having a high allocation to different kind of stocks that is not performing well. So from here also, you can check out like what are the top exposures that the portfolio is having among them. And you can diversify and you can have analysis like what is the differences in their exposures under equity as well as debt. And you can also check out like what are the top equity sector exposures that this overall portfolio is having. So you can see this uh, before the banking sector was having approximately 17.13 percentage of exposure where you, the client might seem that it is having a high exposure as well. But over here where you have optimized it, the banking sector has dropped down to approximately 13.26 percentage. So like this way also, you can diversify the portfolio and you can look at them and you can show the analysis to your clients. Followed by that, you can also move on to the rolling analysis. So over here, what it shows actually is, is the rolling returns that the portfolio is generating under two different time frames. So it might be, first of all, the 130 days, that is approximately around six months time frame. And again, the 260 days, that is the one year time frame. As we don't include the weekends, like the Saturdays and Saturdays and the Sundays. So that is the reason we have provided you with this proper amount of day under which you can have a full rolling analysis as well. So on this, these two parameters, what you can check out is what is the average that your portfolio, that the optimized portfolio that you have created under this aggressive client for the aggressive client. You can check out what is the average it is generating under a 130-day rolling period. Again, if you check out for the 260 days as well, you can see that the overall portfolio has been generating approximately 20.21.91% uh, over here. And if you go ahead and if you go back for the monetized portfolio that was equally distributed among all the others, so what you can check out from here is like the different periodic uh, time frame of this rolling period. Over here under 130 days, the portfolio has generated you only 11.67% of returns, the rolling returns. And under 260 days, you can check out there is the fund, or sorry, the portfolio that has generated the rolling analysis of approximately 19.11 percentage. So what is the difference between them is they are having approximately 2.80 percentage of difference under the rolling returns hours. Again, if you go ahead and if you check the volatility, so the, under 130 days, you are having only 11.12 percentage of rolling volatility. And under 260 days, it is having around 12.74. Whereas if you see, that the uh, portfolio that it was having before, it was also nearly approximately 10.09 percent again, 11.54 under 130 and 260 days. Whereas if you check out the lowest that the portfolio has generated under this overall section or the valuation or the allocation that has been done over here under the monetized portfolio. So over here you can check out the lowest that the portfolio has generated is negative 11.05 percentage. Whereas the optimized portfolio, if you have been suggesting or if you have suggest suggested this portfolio to the client, if he was or she was having this portfolio, they might have generated a lowest return of negative 10.54 percentage only. So there is also a 50 percent uh, negative 0 0.50 percentage of changes between them, where the previous portfolio has generated a higher low than the current portfolio that is the optimized portfolio that we have created. And lastly, again, you can go down to the drawdown step where you can directly have analysis of this specific two portfolios. And you can check out, like if you have been investing in these two different time frames, what are the losses that this portfolio might have and how many days it normally takes to recover from the specific port losses over here. So you can check out the different time frames with the loss sizes. And you can also show how your client, that what are the differences they are having and what is the reason behind them as well. And after once you are done, you have shown all the different kind of parameters you can directly generate an actionable proposal for your client. So what you need to do is you just need to click on this create PDF option. And if you want to create a password protected PDF for your client, you can directly enter the password that you want to share. And after that, if the client is also willing to uh, invest a specific uh, amount of money in your specific portfolio that you have suggested to him or her. So what you can do, you can directly give the amount over here and you can generate a proposal for them as well. Or if you don't want to directly generate a portfolio or the uh, proposal for them for the amount wise, so you can directly click on the standard PDF and you can generate a PDF for them with the percentage allocations. So I'll show you both the methods. First of all, this is the overall portfolio where you can directly show what is the differences between these two portfolios and how there have been changes between them. So you can see the backtested performance statistics, like what are the statistics they are having the different kind of percentage wise. You can check out the differences between them. What is the differences they are having as well? 
for the optimized and for the portfolio that you have been checking out. Other than that, you can also check out the cumulative return between them and you can show them how better the portfolio that the optimized portfolio that you were going to suggest has been performing over the year. In the same way, you can also check out the different kind of asset allocations, the top asset allocation that they are having and what is the diversification between them with the top sector exposures as well and the market cap allocation under that. Following that, we have the rolling returns. You can check out the rolling returns for two different time frames, that is 130 days and 260 days, as well as for the model portfolio that you have created well beforehand. So between after that, you can also check out the volatility that it is having between these two portfolios. And lastly, we have the two composition that we have suggested to the client. So first of all, that the equal distribution that has been suggested to the client that you can check out over here. And what is the suggestion that you want to give for the aggressive food? or for the aggressive client, how you want to make the changes. Under that, you can directly share it with the actionable proposal for them as well. And after that, if you want to share it on the basis of the amount wise, so if the client is willing to invest approximately a 50 lakhs amount, so what you can directly do is you can directly enter the amount from here and you can directly check like what is the total percentage of uh, allocation that has been done over here directly. So I'll just open up for a fund allocated proposal as well. So over here, everything that you have seen before is similar to that. So over here also your company name and logo will be provided and you can check out the comparison between this optimized portfolio and the model portfolio also. And lastly, if you have seen all the things, you can go to the returns and after that we have the composition that we have been suggesting. So over here you can check out like what is the diversification that these two portfolio is having. So over here, it, all the funds have been equally distributed among all the others. So the amount has been also equally distributed. But over here, if you see the portfolio composition for this specific optimized one, over here, the amount has been changed due to the allocation that has been suggested from this overall optimization feature. And this is for your two model portfolios and how you can directly have analysis on them and how you can improve your own model portfolio as well. That also you can check it out. So now once you have optimized the model taste portfolio for your client, and from here, we have also given another option called the statement analyzer option. So if we want to add any kind of non-existing client's portfolio that is not onboarded with you currently, so what you can do for them is you can directly go ahead and you can click on the statement analyzer option and you can onboard any client's file from here directly. So now if you want to look for this, you can directly add any specific file. Like we have a file over here that we have added from the NSDL, CDSL, or the CAM summary cast idiot. And after that, what you can do is you can directly go back to the main page and that under this compare portfolio section, what you can do is you can directly upload the portfolio that you want to compare as well. So like if we just uh, choose any kind of prospective portfolios or any prospective client's portfolio, and we want to have analysis like how they have been performed. So what we can do is we can choose any specific prospective client's portfolio and we can have analysis on them as well. So starting off with the drawdowns followed by the different kind of analysis. So first of all, if you see the model portfolio that you were suggesting and the optimized the one that you were having, it was having a recovery day of 53, whereas the prospective client's portfolio has been taking around 246 days to recover from a loss under that specific time frame. So like this way, you can have a look at them and you can also look for the rolling returns, like what is the diversification or what is the difference between these two portfolios they are having. So that also you will be able to look into this. After that, you can also check out the exposures that these two portfolios is having under them. And you can check out the asset allocation, the, what is the diversification these two portfolio they are having under them. That will be also available over here. Followed by performance, like what is the performance changes? Like what is the return differences between these two portfolios? That is also available over here. Where you can show your client that how better the model test portfolio or the, that optimized portfolio that you have created is performing under these two categories. So you can see that the annual return differences is approximately around 11.18%, where the model portfolio has given you a higher return of around 11.18% rather than what the client was actually, actually having or existingly having. And the sharp ratio difference has been also increased or the you can see that the sharp ratio that the model portfolio is having, that the optimized portfolio is having, is much higher than what the client is currently having right now. And you can also see that the cumulative returns difference and the average annual return difference also. But if you have a look on this volatility option, you can directly look on them. And you can see that there is a high difference around 1.17% 1 
where your optimized portfolio is having a higher volatility. But if you have a full consideration on the overall portfolio, you are getting a much higher return as co in comparison with the volatility that has been increased in comparison with this portfolio. So like this way, you can also generate an actionable proposal for your client under these two specific parameters and you can directly specify the amount that the client is willing to invest under that specific portfolio. And you can directly have a look on them and while giving the full analysis to them as well. So I'll just generate the PDF report once again to show you how you can directly analyze the two portfolios of a model portfolio that you will be creating after optimization with a prospective client as well. And lastly, the composition that it will be suggesting under that specific amount that you have been suggesting. So what was the client investing beforehand and what are you suggesting with your own model portfolio? That will be also available over here. So this is all from my side. So now if you have any kind of questions, so you can directly type in the chat box or you can unmute yourself as well. Any questions, please let us know. Um, uh, someone asked on the chat if there's a recording link. Yes, it will be there. Um, you can, um, it should be uploaded in about uh, a few days. Um, you can always go to the YouTube channel, which you can access right from the top, um, the videos link inside the application, or you can just um, search Engine Markets YouTube on Google. And you'll find all uh, historical recordings there, as well as this one. In, uh, as I said, we'll be updated in a few days. Questions, please let us know. Okay, if there are no questions, we can end for today. Just for the people who are there today, um, next week we will have um, a, a webinar where we will discuss the newly released fund scores. So we will speak about them in detail. So if you have any questions, um, um, you know, do join us next week uh, at 4 p.m. Um, thank you. Ankur, we can close. Well, thank you to everyone for joining this webinar. We'll be sharing the web recording of this specific webinar after this week. And happy Diwali, everyone. Thank you for joining.